Hey, hey, Scorpio. I'm Melanie Florence, and this is Hot Tea for the Soul. Today, I'm doing a bit of sweet hot tea, a bit of self-love. This is going to go through how we got here and our healing elements in our lives, um, how we're applying ourselves to the world and partnerships, but more importantly, how we're treating ourselves with a bit of self-love. So I'm going to mix up a few cards from a few different places, and we're going to see what the energies are surrounding at Scorpio, and, and see what is in the cards for our self-love just dropped out gently as the seasons turn of uh, as the seasons of life turn remember your life and your experiences are driven by an invisible will of love life is an eternal ocean and the death and rebirth are the rising and falling of the same wave attached to every ending is a new beginning Ooh, there you are Touch to every rise. Look at that. The ebb and flow. The ebb and flow of it all. All right. Beginnings and endings. Endings, beginnings. Opening our heart with love. Scorpio. It's a good way to start self-love. It's a good place to start, isn't it? Okay. Let's see what else we got. And the energies for Scorpio of this week. What we got in this reading for self-love. Oh, this is one of the denizens of the forest. This is guardian of the forest. Without elk. It's actually plants and growth. And the seeds, the forest, that's, that's what you put in, is what you got out. There's a justice inside of this, there's a karma inside of this. The plants, you know, they grow for, they, they grow and they support each other. They support each other as a entity. You know, they share energy with each other, this growth cycle. So you're in a growth cycle. This ebb and flow of everything that's going on. Big growth cycle for you, Scorpio. Planting the seed. Think not of the seed in the apple, but the orchard in the seed. There, see? Bigger things. What's the tree you're growing? And what what is it sustaining? A star keeper. A cosmic, uh, uh, cosmic ancestor. Seed the light and stay by staying grounded. All right. So you might have a cosmic ancestor that is connecting with you. It's also grounding. This is a grounding energy. And so it's saying that you can do your best work here. You can seed the light by staying grounded inside of yourself, Scorpio. So you're growing and you're planting seeds. We were just talking about seeds. Look at that. Plants and seeds. So it's dark keeper. It's time to ground yourself a little bit inside of your stuff. Oh, all right. What have we got from the hidden worlds? What have we got from the Hidden Worlds for Scorpio? This self love reading. All right, so relics of Lemuria, fragments, memory, and reclaiming. So this is reclaiming some of your ancient DNA. This is really contacting those ancestors, reclaiming part of yourself, really being authentic about that, reclaiming, um, you know, your land and your ethos and your um, your tuning into it all. Okay, very watery inside of there. We're very watery, and what's not watery, we've got plants. So this is really interesting. All right, the wheels of love are turning for us, Scorpio. So what deck am I going to use? I'm going to use this one. All right, Scorpio, we've got five cards for how we got here. What do we got in the air for Scorpio? Five cards for how we got here. Okay, two coins. You've been banging it together. This is taking on the challenge, as I say, cash flow. All right, and this is actually taking on the challenge of making your money. This is actually, you know, you get the one, which is the offer or the or the windfall, but this is how you carry that on. How do you make your money? How do you bang that together? So you might have been chasing the coins, chasing the cash flow, and it's coming in inside of that. All right, what else have we got, Scorpio? So that's a good omen inside of there in our finance. So it might be that you've been really working hard at making things happen. And giving yourself a second chance, right? So, this is like clearing all past woes, clearing, forgetting all conversations, forgetting all harsh words, letting them go. This is giving yourself a second chance, a second chance to communicate yourself. All right, maybe it's a second chance with your money, second chance in your job, maybe second chance in study inside of here to make more money. All right, learning more stuff, Scorpio. I'm going to take the top one. All right, and that is in your owning your own power. All right, so you've been taking those two ones of intuition and banging them together and trusting your intuition. All right, so you're making the best of this. You're making the best of this, giving yourself a second chance, Scorpio. All right, remembering you've got to stay grounded and connected to your past, right? 
and learn inside your growth moment because you've got a big growth moment. You can see that there's partnerships inside of this. Uh, it's ending the cycles and beginning of cycles inside of this. And we were talking about cycles, ups and downs, and the wheel turning and the wheel of love turning. Uh, but you're really exerting your power inside of this in the physical realm and then on a spiritual level. All right, two more cards for how we got here. Oh, and there's opportunity. Again, spinning the wheel. All right, and this is about planting seeds. This is the one, this is the card that we're planting our seeds for the future. What are we investing? Where are we putting our time? Where are we putting our energy? And it's a seven, so it's quite healing in the pentacles. All right, but it's really about where are you investing? Where are you planting your seeds? Where are you growing? All right, and we've got trees and trees in here. We've got a lot of trees in here and water. So it's very fertile. And the wheel is turning. And we were talking about wheels turning and wheels of love. So there's opportunities that are presenting yourselves. And perhaps from all the energy that you've created, there's more opportunities presenting themselves. One more for how we got here for Scorpio. One more for how we got here for Scorpio. A bit of self-love. It's the strength of your heart intestinal fortitude your courage your morals the strength of your love inside of here in this wheel of love that we're turning over in here and and striking these opportunities inside of all right so it is your open heart so strength open heart courage like it all comes inside of there and it sometimes it's tested i guess scorpio Oh, right. That's how we came into this spot. What have we got as your healing elements around you in your life? What have we got for the healing elements? We'll take both. All right. Change. Releasing the past. All right. So this is really jumping. This is really moving into it. All right. So taking the change, making the change, jumping into the change and releasing it, letting go, letting go of things that are holding back, letting go of preconceptions of yourself. You don't have to be what other people have thought that you used to be. You don't even have to be what you thought you should be. You're allowed to be dream. It's coming up a bit. All right. So you get to change and you've made change, right? You've been banging it to get cash flow. You've been banging your intuition and really standing in your power with these opportunities. And you've been taking those change and releasing yourself from the past healing element this is stress and anxiety it comes up a lot with the um swords uh, air element it's about the mind right so we're talking about dedication in here and when we're talking about stress and anxiety it's really honing in on what you need to be dedicated to and what steps you can take writing it down maybe a lot of brainstorming is inside of this there's finishing in the nine of finishing off courses and contracts and so there's a real um passion in finishing things off when the nine of uh, air comes out all right so there might be stress and anxiety that's coming out of this change but it's actually your healing element right that you're going through that you're thinking about all of these things maybe where your strength come from what your opportunities in this power has been giving yourself this second chance right i'm going to take that one. Ooh. But there, here we are. So this is a balance restored. So we've got the two of swords in this deck is, is sort of where previously it's about things that are unknown. This is about restoring the unknown, the conversations in the partnership, right? Actually talking to one another. So there is a, an amount of talking that you've gone through on this change. You've gone through your stress and anxiety, but you're able to restore the balance inside of this and find some sort of resolution while you've been taking up these opportunities. All right, one more. What's the last healing element card? For Scorpio, what? oh, the Emperor, masculine influence and power. And so this is very driven. This is really getting and making your money. He's very impassioned, though. He's impassioned at making things happen. Like he takes all four kings and really pushes forward uh, in making his money, really being grounded, making his mark. He's got no nervous energy. So this is things being talked through. And this is really taking that strength and this opportunity and you're resolving things, right? And so going through this change, going through all of this has actually given you a massive big strength, right? You've got to keep it grounded and really keep your roots in here and reconnect to your ancients inside of here but the ebb the ebb and the flow the ebb and the flow scorpio all right so we have got how are we taking this to the world how how was the world how we're we receiving how are we taking this to the world and applying this to the world all of this where are we going for scorpio with this healing journey all right three cards for scorpio there's one Ooh, 
Oh, the magician. Intuition, taking chances, taking chances. So we've got chances and change and chances and change and opportunities and chances and change. And with the magician, we're really manifesting stuff, Scorpio. We're really bringing it in. And, you know, here where we were banging things together and we're taking on this change to release stuff, here the magician is really making it happen. And, and here, this stress and anxiety that you're going through is really taking this intuition and, and working out how to actually manifest that in your real life. So we've got a lot of earthly elements with the emperor here, but this is really magical elements and these ones appear and they're magical elements. All right. So that's one. We're going to apply it to the world. So we're, and this has got an infinite thing. You're taking stuff from the spiritual realm and you're really grounding it and making it happen. All right. So you might have ancestors inside here that we're contacting. All right. And so we'll go to put that one back. Oh, so it's also saying rest your mind. So this conflict that you might have had, this anxiety, you have come to resolution for it. And this is like really meditative. It is let, you know, it's taking that time out, taking the naps that you need, having a bath, really taking time out to retreat and recover. And so this might have been a bit of a battle thing and trying to get yourself really empowered and really making this happen. All right. Ooh, and we've got the five. So this is still emotionally... This can be uh, unfulfilled. It's really feeling your emotions via your senses. All right? And so it's this sensory perception that you outwardly put out. So when you're feeling good about them, it can be a bit manic. When you're feeling good about them, you're good. When you're feeling bad about them, you're feeling bad. It's like it can either be an emotional drain or it can be this emotional ecstasy. And so in here, with all of this stuff, it, it might be that some of this, it's saying unfulfilled expectations and, and that you haven't, that you're, you look like you haven't delivered to yourself or something. All right, but it's, it's sort of really about finding your emotions and, and, and your unfulfilled expectations. Perhaps people sort of see that for you. Uh, and But that's how you're playing the world, so Scorpio. That's interesting. It might be time to ground yourself in your emotions. What have we got in your partnership, Scorpio? status search all right and this is a one this is stepping up this is communicating yourself all right so in your partnerships you actually are communicating this spot here has created some sort of resolution resolution and really resting your mind on it and things are really inside of your partnerships in your dynamic business that's a very business card stepping out marketing and advertising sort of card but really communicating yourself in your relationships um, and your partnerships in your in your situation. What else have we got going on? All right, what do we connect? What have we got with this? What else is going on in the partnerships for Scorpio for this uh, this 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 sweetheart tea? This sweetheart tea. Oh, ego in internal politics. Oh, so as much as you've got this set of stages, there's a certain amount of insecurities that are going on inside of this. So you may be still working from some of your base natures. This feels like you're not necessarily getting the satisfaction inside of your heart that you actually feel like you should be getting from things, Scorpio. And really, because it may be your self-love. Maybe it's something that you really have been externalizing that you really need to get across. And, and these relationships, these ebbs and flows of your relationships inside of here because there's a bit of nervous energy has gone on inside of this seven is healing so it's sort of a clearance of that but it does go down to you know your internal politics it becomes a bit of your insecurities and stuff so we've got a one and and that one and the um so there's a lot of communications that are in there but there's a bit of uh, ego inside of here maybe that status and lifting up in this business stuff has lifted to there let's see all right, so this is the self-love card. What have we got here in the end of all of this for Scorpio sitting in our self-love element? Oh, the hangman. Suspense. And waiting. And so it's just sort of sitting here. This is a spot where we sit and we reflect. We reflect on our life without the emotions. And we are able to see things from a different perspective. Uh, but this hanged man, you can see this is actually the muddiest card on this deck. It took me a minute to work out what this was. Somebody was up and somebody was down. Uh, but it's sort of a suspense. And so inside of this, you may be putting in a spot that you're actually suspended. So you can actually have a good look at what's going on around you, Scorpio. So that's really interesting. 
I'm going to pull out a couple of different cards because I really do want to know about these unfulfilled expectations. What are these unfulfilled expectations that people see? Because I can see that you're manifesting and you're recovering from your mental process, perhaps an old battle with an emperor. That we've come out even and the ad battle for you to be emperor, but there's some sort of unfulfilled expectations. What are they? You're still not necessarily getting the money, the cash flow through that you would desire, perhaps, or that hasn't necessarily manifested. So we've got this one, maybe this is business, maybe this is investment, an investment into the future that you haven't necessarily got that. And we got again this seeds, that's right. And so this is planting seeds for the future. So it's still people are still seeing you rumble, that you're still part planting seeds for the future. And this has come up again, so again and again, and we were talking about seeds and it's come up again and again. So this is future plans and taking your time, you know, and really finding that foundation is what that unfulfilled stuff is. But you're manifesting. And in here with this, we're going to go the Seven of Cups, right? So the Seven of Cups with the, which is a sort of can be morning. It is also daydreaming. So perhaps this hangman is a daydreaming space that you didn't get necessarily everything that you wanted from the past, but it's also are you daydreaming about the future? And some of those daydreams, it's like you got the snake under one cup and some of them the water let through, some of them you can climb on. It's all different sorts of things inside of there. And it's daydreaming and, and, and looking at the unfulfilled desires of the past, right? But what else have we got to go with that hangman? Scorpio? I'm curious, one more card, one more card, because you've got a lot of action in here, you've got a lot of action, you've got a lot of talk going on here, and this is really, you're still talking about sowing the seeds and taking these opportunities and making these opportunities and how you invest into the future, uh, and and this is just a bit forlorn a bit, I guess, it's a mourning, it's a letting go, it's a letting go of the past that you've moved from, and that changing, and that hangman is sitting in that position, one more card, the Scorpio. We'll see. One more card. Let's see if it gives it to me. There it is. You're the magician. You're in a hangman position because you're still working out how to manifest everything. So in a position of magic, Scorpio, like, and you really have been manifesting things and letting go. And perhaps there are things that you might still need to reconcile. Like, and, and it really is. You, people see that you're a little unsettled because you necessarily haven't got the investment into your future that you want just yet, which is a slow rumble. But you are manifesting. All right. You are manifesting, Scorpio. What have we got from the Beyond Lemuria deck? Oop, our ancient future. All right, and this is the Lemurian stuff. This is investing into that, looking at your higher heart chakra. Look at those two cards together. Aren't they just beautiful? It's such a beautiful deck. All right, so this is really connecting with uh, your higher nature and your ancient past. So reconnecting, maybe listening to some of the old stories, what the old meanings are that ancient past, really grounding yourself and grounding your heart chakra, your higher heart chakra, all right, which is about ecstatic bliss. How do you enjoy that? How do you involve yourself in that? This ancient tuning with ancient love, with this cycle of the wheel of love that's always eternal. Scorpio, you are in the position and you are manifesting. It's planting seeds and you are on your way. So, I hope that this resonates with you. Planting and growing is a lot in this reading. Seeds and watering and, and love and, and the heart chakra in here and really manifesting things. There's a lot of conversations that are going on. But it's really manifesting your future in here, finding that aesthetic bliss and connecting with your ancient DNA. I hope this resonates with you, Scorpio. I hope that you are safe and well wherever you are. Mahalo.